Good morning, YouTube. Android Lollipop is a big upgrade from KitKat. Along with material design, there are a whole bunch of other useful improvements. In this video, I'm going to go over five awesome new convenience and security features you can quickly access from the main settings menu. Number one, battery saver. The new battery saver feature is very simple to use. By slowing down device performance and limiting background syncing, standby time can really be extended. To enable battery saver, you go into the settings menu, battery, and then in the battery menu, you can choose battery saver. And here you can turn it on and off just with that button right there. You have three simple options. You can set it to never turn on automatically or to turn on by itself, either at 5% battery or at 15% battery. But what I really like is you can turn the battery saver on manually anytime you like. For example, it's 5 p.m., you've been at school or work all day and your phone is at 50%. You decide to go out. You know you're going to be out till late and your phone is not gonna make it till 10 p.m. or midnight when you get back home and you're able to charge it. So at any time you want, you can turn on battery saver even if your phone is at 80%, and now you know you can still use your phone all evening and your phone's not gonna die, you can use it as you like. Bonus tip, you can add the battery saver widget to your uh, home screen. Just go into the settings widget here. Choose battery saver. And now you can go into the battery saver menu screen just with one click like that. Number two, priority mode. Let's say you're doing something important where you really don't want to be interrupted by anything from your phone except the most critical notifications. You can do that with priority mode. There's some amount of initial setup required on your part, but it's fairly straightforward. So let's go into sound and notification. There are four primary categories of notifications. Phone calls, text messages, calendar events, and app notifications. The initial setup is just configuring what notifications you want to mark as high priority notifications. For example, when my device is in priority mode, I don't want any interruptions from my calendar. Nothing in there is generally high priority, so I'll turn that off. I want to be interrupted by text messages, but not from anyone and everyone, of course. So I can choose between anyone, start contacts only, or contacts only. Well, I don't want everyone in my contacts to be able to interrupt me, just a couple of key people, so I'll choose starred contacts only. As far as apps go, you have to go back into the main sound and notifications area and click on app notifications. And now you can choose if you want any apps to notify you while you're in priority mode. Um, I only want, let's set Wonderlist up as a priority app. And that's it, the setup is done. You only have to tell your phone once which uh, messages are priority. And then from here on, anytime you want, you can use the volume button to go right into priority mode. And you can easily decide on how long you want it to stay in priority mode for. Let's set it for 15 minutes. And that's it, I'm done. Now my phone will not unnecessarily interrupt me. You can also fully configure it to automatically go into priority mode at fixed times during the week as you like. For example, when you're asleep. So you can choose which days you want. And then for any given day, you can choose uh, when you want it to go into priority notification mode and when you want it off. Okay. As an added benefit, you will find your uh, battery life improves in priority mode because your screen does not have to turn on every time any random notifications arrive. You will also see the star icon here and that tells you you're in priority mode. Number three, hide sensitive notifications. To use this feature, you need to make sure that some sort of screen lock is enabled first. So let's go into the settings, security, and you want to make sure you have some sort of screen lock enabled. And now if screen lock is enabled, when you look in this when device is locked menu, 
You can see show all notification content, hide sensitive notification content. So if you choose that, now even if uh, you get a notification and your lock screen flashes, somebody sitting next to you is not gonna be able to read what the notifications actually say, which is useful if you're gonna get private messages and so on. Number four is screen pinning. Screen pinning is a very cool feature. What it lets you do is restrict the device to use only one app, whatever that is. Let's say somebody wants to use your device to go on YouTube or play a game, but you don't want that person to be able to snoop around and use anything else on your device. You can very quickly pin just YouTube or whatever single game or app they want to use and lock everything else out. Here's how it works. Again, you must have screen lock enabled and you also need to have screen pinning enabled in the security menu. So if I, you go to security and right there, you want screen pinning turned on. Now, when you lend your device to someone to use just one app, you first open the app and then press the overview button. And then right there, you'll see the pin button, press it. Start. And now the device is locked. Now if they try to get out of it by holding overview, which it tells them they can do, it just locks the device and they can't go anywhere else on your device. Number five is smart lock. This is my favorite new feature here. For me, I find it is really no fun to always have to enter your password or pin every time you need to unlock your device. Yet at the same time, I really think having a lock on your phone is critical. Here you get to have your cake and eat it too. You can add either a trusted device like a Moto 360 that's connected via Bluetooth, a trusted place, meaning if you're at home or you know some trusted place, or a trusted face, which uses the old face unlock feature. So now, whenever it detects a trusted device or whatever, however you set it up, you can bypass the lock screen. All right, so those are uh, five awesome new features you can access via the settings menu in Android Lollipop. Let me know in the comments below if any of these features are useful to you. Remember to press the subscribe button to know when new videos are out on the channel. Thank you for watching.